Hello and welcome to the Amagi. In today's video, we are going to be interviewing Brody Bett, a singer and actor who just finished starring in the national Broadway tour of Finding Neverland. Hi! First, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? So I am nine years old, I've been acting since I was six, and I um, am obsessed with music. I play five instruments, which are piano, pipe organ, guitar, ukulele, and drums. And I um, have this cruel gift called Perfect Pitch. It's when I was four years old, I hit a glass, and I said, Mom, that's G. And my mom was like, are you sure? And I was like, yeah. And I was right. So now, if anybody can hum or play a note on the keyboard, I can hum it for them. Or if they tell me to hum a specific note, I can hum it for them. Like hum an A flat. I can hum an A flat. It's natural for me. How did you get into acting? Um, so when I was born, my mom took me to all her gigs. She sang in a 12B show band. And then when I was three or four or five, she started taking me to shows. And that's when I was like, I wonder what I can do up there. And um, I asked my mom if I can um, do a play for the first time. And my mom was like, sure. And I tried out and I got the role that was for the Grand Duke of Cinderella. How do you prepare for a show? So I do vocal warm-ups, physical warm-ups, I make sure I have a healthy meal, and make sure I'm well hydrated. Can you describe your average performance day? So I get up, I eat scrambled eggs, toast, and Greek yogurt, and then I do some school. Sometimes when we're on tour, we um, um, explore the, the city and um, for education, and then we... Um, Later, we go to the theater, and then we sign in, um, then we have company meeting, then um, we, have, we have to get dressed, then physical warm-up, then vocal warm-ups, then we're ready to go do the show. Then after the show, we um, sign autographs, um, then we um, meet and greet people, and then we go back to the hotel, and then I I'm actually pretty hungry after the show, so I eat snacks before I go to bed, and then I go to bed. Can you tell us a funny story from the tour? I was in the number Believe, and um, so we were running the number Believe, and um, it was a real show, and all four of the, bo four of the boys had um, balloons in their hands, and I was one of them. And so we were, I was supposed to jump off the bench, well, that never happened with my balloon in my hands. Well, that that, that never happened. So um, I had, so I had to jump off the bench. But instead, the um, the balloon got caught in the leading lady's hair, and then I just kept running to my spot. And then when I looked up, um, I saw the balloon sticking out of her hair, and I thought it was just the funniest thing. And um, they. They actually still continued with the scene, and it was, and then when um, we went off, when we went off stage, the audience, the leading man tried to get it out, and they tried to get it out, but it wouldn't move a bit, and the, la la and the audience was just laughing and giggling, and it was just very funny. What was your favorite number in Finding Neverland? Um, wow, that's pretty hard because um, I have a lot of favorite numbers in the show because there are so many wonderful songs and scenes but if I had to choose one I would say um, we are all made of stars it's where the boys all sit together and um, we sing and jam out and then there's one part of the song what, on all of the shows, which we do, and we have a little jam session. And my part is to bang on a crate with two wooden sticks. One's playing the ukulele, one's playing the washboard, and then the other is just having such a good time. What was the most fun about being on tour? So I got to travel the United States. I got to um, travel to 43 states and 104 cities. And um, we took side trips, like to Niagara Falls, which was super fun. I really enjoyed that trip. And then um, we went to Park City, Utah. We went to um, like the Mormon Tabernacle. 
Tabernacle in Salt Lake City, and I got to also play some of the most famous pipe organs, like the Salt Lake City Tabernacle in Salt Lake City, which I just mentioned. And I've also played the Basilica in South Bend, Illinois, and um, I also got to do so many other fun things on the tour. And I really had a blast. I got to um, hang out with some of my castmates. I got to meet some new people when um, people left on the tour and people, new people came onto the tour. And I just had a blast. Do you still connect with your friends from tour? I, I do. Um, we see each other on occasion sometimes. And we also um, keep up with keep up with each other on Instagram, so. Did your parents travel with you on tour? And if so, what did they do when you were in the show? Yes, my mom traveled with me all, all of the tour, and when I was, during, during a performance in the show, my mom even, my mom watched me or she stayed at the theater. And, um, yeah, okay. that's pretty much it. On your Instagram, it says you were a voiceover artist. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, I can. Sometimes you hear the um, people that are on camera speak some lines, but sometimes they don't even say a line or even a peep, and um, you hear um, somebody that isn't there speak out the lines, and that's what's called a voiceover. Now, normally what I call my voiceovers are singovers because um, I normally sing on my voiceovers and I hardly do any lines. So um, they give me the material, and then I study it for a couple hours, then I know it, then tomorrow they, we walk to the studio, then they set me up, and then um, they they put it on a recording, then they send it to the client who's going to use it. Can you tell us one interesting thing that most people might not know about you? So I've studied the periodic table when I was four years old, and if somebody names an element, I can name the symbol. If somebody names the symbol, I can name the element. Do you plan on continuing professional acting as an adult? Well, maybe, because I love acting and I really love this business. But I also want to be a pilot because I love airplanes and I love um, being in my sky. It feels like my home. And But I may want to be an actor, but let's just see what the future will be like. Thank you for allowing us to interview you. You're welcome. It's a pleasure to be here. Be sure to check out Brody's social medias. We'll link them down below. And be sure to subscribe to the Yamagi and check out some of our previous videos.